Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, man. Listen, listen, listen. It's a park up the street. If you want to go play, feel free to go play, man. It's a park up the street. Go ahead and go play. But if you want to level up, if you want to help somebody else level up, if you want to break generational curses, if you want to do great things in this lifetime, if you want to leave a legacy, if you want to help somebody get out of a situation that they can't get themselves out of, you came to the right place. If you want to save souls, you came to the right place, man. Listen. If y'all new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Get this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. For all my subscribers that's been rocking with your boy since day one, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. Listen, know just know that we only leveling up and we help our only uh, other souls level up and break generational curses, man. Listen. <clears throat> so listen. These are all the curses. We finna talk about generational curses. And they have to be broken. So, if you woke up today, right, and you just started drinking excessively, out of control, you know, you went to the store 9 o'clock this morning, you bought a pint, and you're done with that pint by, by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and you've been doing this for 30 years. That's a generational curse. If you woke up this morning and you got hate, envy, jealous, wickedness on your mind, that's a generational curse. You have to understand that. If you woke up this morning and you think all you thinking about, you ain't even thinking about praising God, you ain't thinking about doing no me uh, meditation, you know, healing, working on yourself, getting better than you was than yesterday. If you're not thinking like this or, you know, and try to help your bloodline and help other people, that's a generational curse. If you woke up this morning and um, you're just thinking about how you can kill somebody, how you can ruin somebody's life, how you can be evil, deceitful, and, and you know, have evil intentions, that's a generational curse. Y'all have to understand something, that all that just did not start here in 2024, and all that, that is stuff that happened decades ago in past generations. Your uncle, your auntie, your grandma, your granddad, your parents, your mama, your daddy. You get what I'm saying? And in their lifetime, they did not break them generational curses. So guess what? It's going to get passed to the next generation that has to break it. That for the next generation that experienced these type of things, um, you have to be aware of that and you have to break the curse. I need y'all to turn me up. I need y'all to share this content, man. We got to start breaking generational curses. We have to start breaking generational curses because the thing is, our ancestors, our people, they didn't have the courage to break it in their lifetime or they wasn't strong enough to break it in their lifetime or they just didn't want to do it in general. So guess what? This shit got to keep going. It keeps going. It keeps going until somebody wake up and say, hey, you know what? Hold on. My bloodline fucked up. Let me let me break this curse. If you see people doing shit that they ain't supposed to be doing, sleeping with their own family members, dating their own family members, you know what I'm saying? Just crazy shit out here, bro. All that stuff is generational curses, bro. Whatever you can think of that's going on in your bloodline that's wicked, that's crazy, that's out the ordinary, that don't seem normal, that is a generational curse that has to be broken. You get what I'm saying? Because if you don't break it, guess what? It's going to keep on continuing. It's going to get passed down to your kids. Now your kids going to experience some shit. You get what I'm saying? It's going to get passed down to your grandkids. Now your grandkids... But it has to be broken. I'm trying to help somebody level up. I'm trying to help somebody bloodline level up. I'm trying to help people save souls. I'm trying to save souls. Y'all got to understand that, you know, that's just like, for example, in my family, right? I mean, I started off, you know what I'm saying, smoking a little weed and stuff like that, right? Just because the surroundings I was around, right? I was around people, you know what I'm saying, who was doing this type of things, you know what I'm saying, right? So I picked up a little weed habit, right? I ain't pick up nothing else but a weed habit, right? But once I got aware of where all this stuff come from, my parents was on drugs all their life. 
You know what I'm saying? My parents is on drugs all their life, right? So if my parents on drugs all their life, guess what? And they and ain't nobody break it. Guess what? It's gonna get passed down to their kids and their grandkids and stuff like that. So now all their kids drinking, all their kids smoking, all their kids doing all this crazy shit. If that don't be broken, if somebody don't say, hey, you know what? Uh-uh. I'm not finna use no substance. I'm not finna do no drugs. I'm finna take the path of healing. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna take the path of breaking generational curses, doing great things. It would never happen. And you have to apply the same method in your life, too. You know what I'm saying? Just because your people think it's cool to wake up every day and sit on the couch and drink all day every day, sit on the couch and smoke packs of cigarettes all day, sit on the couch and smoke weed all day, sit on the couch and hate on each other, envy each other, pray on other people's downfall, spit venom on other people's life and stuff like that. No, that is generational curses. That's why the chosen ones get attacked because you came here to break that generational curse. You came here to break that generational curse. And that's so powerful because after all these years, after all these decades, it's been going on for so, so, so long and it hasn't been broken. Nobody decided to take the, the tough path and be like, hold on, you know what? It's some crazy shit going on here in this world. It's some crazy stuff that's going on through these bloodlines. And hey, who's going to sit up here and uh, pick up that car when God call you and break this, break these curses, walk this path? Because not that many people walk this path. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, hold on, nah, this, this is weird. All this stuff is weird and crazy. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you, got, you may got some people in your family that's witches. That's, you know what I'm saying? Demonic spirits. That's demonic souls. You get what I'm saying? That's why you have to separate yourself from people. Family, friends. You get what I'm saying? But like I said, y'all, we have to break the curses. We have to break these curses. It's just that simple. If you're a chosen one, man, I need you to step up and stand in your power right now today. If you came across this video, man, don't uh, don't go back to what you used to be doing, man. Stand in your power, man. Stand in your power. Excuse me. It was a loud old truck. But yeah, man, stand in your power, bro. Because other chosen ones need you. Other people need you. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people think, a lot of people is out here in this world doing stuff that they think is okay, but it's not okay because they don't know that it's a generational curse. <laughs> they don't know that they ancestors were sick as hell in the head and they didn't break that because they, they people, they people, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, and it keeps going. Until somebody say, you know what? Nah, this ain't right. I see. I'm awakened. I see right from wrong. I see a lot of stuff that's just don't, that's just not right, and that should be that needs to be corrected. You get know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna be the one that correct it. You gonna be the one that correct it. You get know what I'm saying? In order to correct these things, guess what? You can't be around everybody. You can't be sitting up here going to the clubs. You can't sit up here and be partying. You can't sit up here just be smoking and drinking. You can't sit up here and be just doing nonsense, having evil intentions, all this. Guess what? You gotta be working on yourself. You gotta be healing. You gotta be getting better than you was yesterday. Guess what? You gotta make sacrifices. I'm talking to somebody, man, listen, this is a park up the street. If you wanna go play, feel free to go play, man. You got it's a park up the street if you want to go play, man. We break generational curses over here. <laughs> We're gonna break generational curses over here. That's why you getting attacked. That's why the devil don't like you. That's why the devil got your family and friends and, and your spouse and your wife and your husband and the whole world going against you because you came here to do great things. I'm trying to tell somebody something. You came here to do great things. That's just like, we finna get real deep now. We finna get real deep now. That's just like, you know, them people. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't finna say, get too deep and say no names, but y'all know the people, the people. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff, corrupt shit that's going on, all the 
lies and all that shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? All the manipulation and all tactics and all this little shit. That's generational curses. You get know what I'm saying? That's just like when the shit. They had us in motherfucking slavery and all this shit and all that. That's a fucking generational curse. We're not in fucking slavery no more. That's just like all that racist stuff and all that. Oh, you, I don't like black people or I don't like white people or whatever the case may be. I don't like Chinese and all this. Whatever the fucking case may be. That's a generational curse, bro. I don't care what you're talking about, bro. That's a generational curse, bro. That's a generational curse. That is a curse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, in order to break these curses, you're going to have to be a special type of individual who is not okay what's, with what's going on in this world, with what's going on in your bloodline. You're going to have to break them curses. You're going to have to be the outcast of the family, the black sheep of the family. You're going to have to take a path that many people are so, so scared to take. And that's okay. That's okay. You're going to have to go against all opposition. But guess what? You, that's okay. You have to understand that you are protected. You don't have nothing to worry about because that's what God called you for, to break generational curses, to help other souls level up. Y'all get what I'm saying? Listen, man, I hope y'all really paying attention to this content. Make sure y'all share this content for me, man. This is important. This is the type of stuff that we have to worry about. All that nonsense stuff, all that pranks, all that watching rappers and all this shit. That shit is irrelevant. That's all distractions to keep your mind uh, uh, unfocused off what you're really supposed to be focused on in the first place. Breaking generational curses. Stop all this evil shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of evil people, evil souls out here that's doing evil things and think it's okay. No, it's not okay to lie on somebody. No, it's not okay to go just kill somebody. No, it's not okay just to uh, hate somebody for no reason, be jealous of nobody for no reason. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. Like, if you, if, 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 if you've been having kids and not taking care of your kids, that's a generational curse because guess what? Somebody in your bloodline had kids and they didn't take care of their kids and it just kept on repeating itself until somebody decided to say, you know what? I want to be a family oriented man. You know what? I'm a, uh, uh, I'm gonna do great things. I had these kids with, with these women or with this woman and, and I'm gonna sit up here and take care of my responsibilities and I'm gonna raise these kids and I'm gonna do great things. I'm gonna have a great time with my family. But if you don't do that, that's a generational curse because guess what? Like I said, it's somebody in your bloodline that decided to say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm about to have kids and I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to let the woman take care of all the kids, but I still want to party. I still want to drink. I still want to fuck around with other women. You know what I'm saying? And it's vice versa with the, uh, uh, the ladies too. It's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that it's a generational curse. You know what I'm saying? You just letting the kids grow up in the world, not teaching them nothing. They don't know nothing. They being all up in grown people business. They jumping up in the streets. They think they know what they're doing, but all actuality, they don't know nothing. Um, just, you know what I'm saying? Just not teaching your kids what they're supposed to know and helping them grow up. That is a generational curse until somebody break it. Like, hold on, you know what? I'm about to walk the path. Uh, I have all these kids. I'm about to hold it down. I'm about to hold my family down. I'm going to take care of my family. I'm going to do what I need to do for my family. You know what I'm saying? And my kids, you know what I'm saying? Help them grow so they can step into their power, so they can know who they are, so they can know what they came here to do. Break generational curses. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of curses, you know what I'm saying, that have to be broken. I can't break all the curses. The next person can't break all the curses. It's so many curses that have to be broken. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Like, if you got your man that want to just sit at home all day, play damn video games, smoke weed, you know what I'm saying, call the bros over while you at work busting your ass, that's a generational curse. If you got women that want to be lazy all day, that don't want to clean, that don't want to cook, that just want to have SEX all day, you know what I'm saying, that don't want to hire their learning, that just don't want to do nothing, sit at home, be lazy, like I said, that's a generational curse. You have to understand, it's just not one woman that's doing it. It's just not two women that's doing it. 
It's a whole bunch of women that's out here that's doing it. It's a whole bunch of men that's out here that's doing it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be aware of that. Like, hold on. That's a curse. You know what I'm saying? That's just like if you trying to frame somebody. If you're trying to frame somebody. Oh, he touched me. Who? Who t- He did over there. What the fuck? You don't know them? You ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just lying on people. Like I said, you're lying on people. That's a generational curse. Have you ever seen one of them movies? Y'all watch one of them movies and uh, a white person accused a black person for doing something, but they ain't really did it, but they only, the white person only did it because they parents didn't want them to date black people. And so they just lied and said they touched them. That's a fucking curse. <laughs> That's a curse. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be aware of these type of things. You have to be aware of these demonic spirits. You know what I'm saying? You have to be aware of this. And I'm going to tell you this again. That's why you're getting attacked. attacked Because they know that you're the chosen one. They know that you came here for a bigger purpose, a bigger mission. You know what I'm saying? You're not here like everybody else to just go with the flow and do ordinary things and stuff like that. No, you came here for a higher calling, a higher purpose to break generational curses, to bring all that shit, all this crazy shit up to the front line so everybody can be aware what's really going on in their life. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all following me? I need somebody to follow me. I need somebody to follow me, man. But listen, yeah, that's the curse. So listen, man, I ain't finna sit up here and hold y'all up. You already know what it is. One plus one equals two, and that's your boy.